Bill. I don't know why people keep sending him things. Bill hasn't lived here for years. Nothing for me, Your Majesty? Uh, actually, yes. Oh, that. How? Nice one, Your Majesty. Huh. No, I meant, is there a letter for me? Um, an anniversary card, perhaps, he said knowingly. No, there isn't, he replied even more knowingly. Why would anyone want to send you anything, you revolting, stinking heap of cats sick? What anniversary? It's our anniversary! It's 3,000 years to the day that I became your butler. You haven't got me a card because you've forgotten. It's all right, Cooper. I haven't really forgotten. You haven't? Of course not. I deliberately didn't send you a card. Pretty about the anniversary feast, then. Steamed horse bladders. A family bucket to share. But since you're being so horrid, I'll have more myself. <laughs> Good. That'll save me from throwing up in the bog all night. Incidentally, that toilet's blocked again. Get it sorted, would you? Typical. I only pee once every 50 years. Absolutely busting. Still, why should I be the only one to suffer? Well, it was a lovely wedding, Vicar. Apart from the fact that our penny tried to get a piggyback ride off you during the service. She does that a lot. Sees anyone bent over and woof! She's on him like a shot. <clears throat> um, does she, um, stay there long? Oh, goodness, sorry. <coughs> penny, get down! It's not often we get invited to a wedding, or indeed anywhere, because of you and your stupid piggyback problem. So no more. You hear? Good. Now let's just have a nice day, like a normal family. Piggyback! Piggyback! I am so, so sorry. Penny, go over there and sit quietly. We're very sorry. It's OK. I'm totally unscathed. Um, oh, well, apart from this ladder in my tights, look. No! You got 50p? You get five songs for a pound, you only get 350p on this jukebox. Hey, man, look, you're just a kid in a box. No, I'm not. I'm a jukebox. Now put your money in, I'll sling you up. All right. Right, well, just pick any song, any singer, any band, and I'll sing it. All right, um, The Darkness. No, I don't like them. <sighs> uh, Slipknot, Chili Peppers, Linkin Park. What? They're rubbish. <gasps> Do you like Busted? No. Well, we're a bit stuffed then, cos I only know Busted songs. <sighs> All right, then. Do five Busted songs. <clears throat> That's what I go to school for. That's what I'm called a fool for. That's not even the words. Well, sorry, I can't remember it all exactly, can I? It's only a quid. <sighs> That's why I crashed the wedding. 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 Oh, no, the record's stuck. That's why I crashed the wedding. That's why I crashed the wedding. Oh! Oh! Played that game killing people free. No, it's rubbish. It's not, I like it. <laughs> it's a game for losers. That's worse than being a goth. <laughs> oh, hello, Carrie. How are you today? Dark. That's nice. Nothing's nice when your heart is as cold as the grave. I'm very mysterious, you know. Oh, hello. I never knew you knew a goth. Freak. Hold your tongue. I can do things. Yes, Ian. Gosh, should be pitied and not mocked. See you later, Carrie. Try and get out more. Right. You've done it now. Prepare to die. Ready yourselves to be torn to pieces by my... Revenge monkey from hell. You all right, Carrie? Uh, yeah, fine. See you at school, hey? Uh. 
You're fired! Oh dear, poor little goth girl. She got well dissed, innit? Stupid, stupid. Ah! Goober's new thousand year contract. Uh, oh, uh, sign this, would you? No. Nope. You do remember how to spell Goober, do you? It's I D I O T. I'm signing now, mate. Oh, is this because I forgot our anniversary? It may have some bearing on it. You thoughtless pig. Oink, oink. Would it help if I said I was sorry? Yes, it would. Well, that's a shame, because I'm not going to. I know. What about a party? Really? Wow, that'd be well wicked. All right, then. Let's do it. Yes. Well, that was tremendous fun, wasn't it? Right, back to work. You can start by unblocking my toilet. I'm in serious danger of opening a paddling pool in my boots in here. That's it! I'm off to pack! What? You, you can't just walk out. Goob? Mate? I'm sick of being taken for granted. I'm going to get myself another job. But being a butler's all you do, and you're rubbish at that. We won't miss me, then. <laughs> I'm almost sad he's gone. Almost sad. Right, trying to mess with someone's head. Right, Archie, I want this bedroom tidied now, and don't give me any of your Tony Robinson from Time Team rubbish. But, Dad, this is a site of major historical interest. Disturbing it in any way could destroy things of priceless archaeological value. Would you ask Tony Robinson and his band of eccentric scruffs to tidy their rooms? I tell Tony Flaming Robinson and his smelly hippie time teammates to get a damn good wash. Look at this place. These socks, for example. Oof. These socks have been here since prehistoric times. From the whiff, I'd say possibly early Jurassic period. What about the bed? Oh, Archie! I don't believe it. Well done, Dad. You found a perfectly preserved fragment of early Italian food. Or grabba, as they would have said. This is from ancient Rome. Archie, it's got mould on it. A delicacy to the first Anglo-Saxon settlers. They would send over to Rome for these by the ton. Archie, please, just for a moment, forget about the time team nonsense. Me and your mum are worried about you. I'm worried too, Dad. You are? Yes. This couldn't possibly be Bronze Age. Look at the design. Tony Robinson and his band of eccentric scruffs would send this off for carbon dating. So I'm going to try the taste test. Oh, I've had enough of this. Your mum's car. Oi! I am the new Tony Robinson! Who wants to see some balloon modelling? Hey! hey! Now, what do you want? You want a, a, a wolf? A lion, a dog, or a hippo? Uh, to be honest, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. They all look the same, except I use a grey balloon for the hippo. Uh, a dog! <laughs> OK, here we go. He's choking! I'm trying to save his life! I'm trying to save his life! How close was that? Oh, 
Look, Woody, the sides are splitting. <laughs> oh, what a crack! <laughs> oh, your face! I've really got you this time. <laughs> <laughs> A great joke the other day, you'll like this. Yeah, go on then. Right. This boy takes a school report. <laughs> school report! That's me! Oh no. Overreaction, Jackson. Look, can I tell you later? I'll just ignore what everybody else does. Alright, he takes a school report home to show his dad. What? The dad loved it! Brilliant! His dad looks at it and sees that his son has failed. Every class. No way! Not every class! <laughs> oh, stop it! You're kidding me! <laughs> Shh, everyone! Here's the punchline! This will be a killer! <laughs> and his son says... Well, Dad, at least you know I haven't been cheating! Maybe it's the way he told it. There! Gooby, you boghouse rat, what are you doing? I'll give you another chance to say sorry. Well, I'll try. <laughs> no, it turns out I simply can't do it. You've no heart. I am what I am. Oh, come on. If I was all nice and normal, I wouldn't do fun stuff like this now, would I? Vicar. They are delicious. It was all I could do to stop myself eating the lot. <laughs> Thought it'd be rather unchristian of me if I ate them all. <laughs> Gob on them. Then you can have them all. That's what I normally do. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't these profiteroles amazing? If this were some cheap TV comedy show, somebody's face might end up in that. <laughs> Piggy back! <laughs> Gary, you all right? I'm dark. Very dark. Oh, that's nice. Like your piggy, by the way. This is Thar's Peak, swine of the Norse god Thor. I have a boat to ancient spirit to avenge me against those that do mock gods. Bask in his magnificence. Fear his mighty trotters forged in the fires of Hades. See his wings, silent but charming. At last, go, Thor's pig, your quarry away. Sometimes wonder why I bother. I'm off. Oh, no, wait, don't go, Goob. I, I, I didn't mean what I said to you. Are you trying to say sorry? Yes, that's it. I, I'm, I'm very, very sorry for insulting you, you lazy, good-for-nothing, painful purple pus bucket. Apology accepted. Oh, good. I got you a card and a prezi as oh. well. <clears throat> From King Stupid, happy anniversary to... Oh, you forgot to put my name on it. Have I? Oh dear, silly me. Um, would you mind signing it yourself? Obviously I'd do it, but I can't reach. Good oh, thank you. Don't forget to open your prezi. Oh, go pop. After three thousand years, you bought me a bog brush! 
Ta-da! I'm off! Ah, 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 not so fast. Oh, look, what's this? A new thousand-year contract with your signature on it. However could that have happened? Some devious person must have cut a hole in your card. Whoever could that have been? I bet it was you. Of course it was, you daft gremlin bogey. I've got you now for another thousand years. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, I've wet him. Why do I always fall for the same trick? Because you are a gullible fool. Now go and clean my toilet. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. I'll call you back. Excuse me. Is this the queue for the taxis? Yeah. We'd like your place if that's fine and lovely, thank you. <laughs> no way, wait, you turn like everyone else. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you doing that? <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> All right, have my place. You're very kind. Excuse me, please may we take your place in the queue? We don't want to wait any longer than necessary. Get stuffed, weirdos. Oh, for crying out loud, here. Please step aside so we can take the place called the front of the queue. Ding, 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 
because for the young of this house, it is a fridge of torment and frustration. Is there any indication as to what parent oppressors are keeping from their young? Well, let's take a look. I don't know whether you can see this, Emma, but this fridge is brimming with chocolate mousses, trifle and these eclairs. Why are parent oppressors so cruel? Why don't they just give this food to their starving children? Greed, ignorance, cruelty, any number of things. They force their children to eat that muck before they can have just a little taste of this bounty of deliciousness. Well, I for one am making a stand. Hey, get your greedy snout out of the fridge, you... That's all for the new stay and good night. <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me. I'm totally lost. I'm supposed to see my auntie in Ward H. Only she's been a bit ill only. The doctor says she's going to be fine, but, but now I'm lost and I don't know where I am and I've got to give her these. Look, calm down. H Ward's very easy to find, but you're at the wrong end of the hospital. Now, you need to go along this corridor. You take a left at the end. You'll pick up signs for the Schwarzenegger rooms. Now, those signs are in green. It's very important that you follow those. H Ward is up on the second floor at the end of the corridor. Now, make sure you take a left down the end here. Did you get that? Yep. Green signs, yeah? Oh, no. My auntie. I don't know where I am. Great dressing gown. Where can I get one of those? The Queen is now greeting the pupils of Ipstadt Town Secondary School. What an exciting day this must be for them. A day they'll remember for the rest of their lives. Oh, what a lovely touch. The children have baked the Queen a cake. Choking! Absolutely extraordinary. I have never seen the Heimlich manoeuvre performed on Her Majesty. How close was that? The Queen is now hitting the young assailant. What an exciting day it must be for her. Well, I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but you can't have your cake and eat it too. Even if you are a fellow royal. And don't you go getting too smug either. I can get you commoners too. This old thing could turn on you at any moment. Oh, great. Ah, Goober. Well done for unblocking that toilet. What was it in the end? A pair of old wire fronts jammed around the U bin. Entirely my fault. You should get me a washing machine. You do your laundry in the toilet? You are revolting. And the dishes. Oh. oh, I've had a thought. Be nice to it. It'll be lonely. Where's my present? I got you one. Where's mine? But you always said that birthdays and anniversaries are pointless. You haven't got me anything, have you? Not even a card. Sorry, you mash. Oh, pants. Pants! Ooh! <laughs> You're mad! I've got you a present! They're antique! I don't know what you're looking at. It's finished. Look, when these people come by, that means it's finished. Stupid. Honestly, how stupid do you have to be? You sit there. It's over. It's finished. Look! Stupid people! Oh, go away. Stupid.